I was I, I don't know all the details as much. I haven't kept up, but I know that you were being sued by a certain you, internet fellow I'm for being like sued half for of, half a billion dollars. I, I was going to say that was a that? joke. Is it actually you know half that? a billion? Uh, well, okay. So did you it just depends. write a check? <laughs> yeah, right. Like if it was twenty grand, I would be scared. But it's half a billion. I mean, I don't have enough money to build a space elevator, so <laughs> send. The, just get all the collections guys in America and send them to my house, and I'll just be writing checks forever. Um, yeah, the feud that I was in last time over the stupid trademark for the biggest problem in the universe, my old podcast, my new podcast is now The Dick Show, but the guy that was my co-host, do you guys remember him, Maddox? Yes, we I had a nice... he was funny in like the early 2000s on his website. Yeah, you remember when he would like put people's hate mail on his side and shit yeah. all over it and make fun of people? Well, he's suing me. He's suing comedians that work for my show. He's suing their place of business, their works, like their real life work. They come on my show and make dick jokes for like fifty dollars. Like it's, <laughs> it's nothing, it's nothing. I, I don't pay these guys anything. Then they go to their regular jobs. Maddox is suing their regular jobs. Them, uh, Patreon. He's suing Patreon. He's suing the Patreon customer service rep that he talked to to try to get me kicked off the platform. Um, and he's suing the lawyer of one of my comedians for half a billion dollars. It's either $20 million or uh, it's either $20 million or half a billion. No one can figure it out because the lawsuit is written like it's written like a child. It's written by it's written by someone who's got a nail sticking out of their head. It's like it's written by someone who cut and pasted and then translated it into Chinese and then retranslated it back. Now, did he um, hire an attorney to sue you, or is he just doing it on his own? Well, uh, his attorney, the dog bite attorney, dog bite Landau, as we're calling him, is maybe is hired. Is maybe he's doing it on contingency. We know he's a real guy with like a fake uh, WeWork office in New York, who for some reason is licensed to practice law in Minnesota and New York. Here's the best part. <laughs> the jackass is suing us in New York. None of us live in New York. Nobody. I don't live in New York. <laughs> Maddox doesn't. Maddox lives. I could drive over to his house and write him a half a billion dollar check right now. He's suing us all in New York for no for reasons that we don't even know why. Um, did he just let this get like ahead of himself when he was suing it, and he just let the ball keep rolling? Or like, what is his rationale yeah. that you stole a half a billion dollars <laughs> from him? No, you you guys, could almost buy an NBA team. It's the that. funniest. It's the funniest read in the world. There's already like thirty or forty videos deconstructing this lawsuit. It's at lawsuit.com, by the way. Uh, we're, I'm hoping uh, that's LOL, LOL suit. Yeah, yeah, lolsuit.com. <laughs> okay. It is, we're being sued for uh, using alt-right alt -right phraseology to insult him, including calling him a cuck. Uh, <laughs> You're probably guilty. You, but at least you didn't get to him, you know? <laughs> uh, we're, we're guilty of making fun. I don't even know who we is. Like, we, the internet, he's got just random tweets in the lawsuit. Uh we're guilty of making fun of his girlfriend, and it's, it says, and I quote, in the goddamn lawsuit, simply because she's a beautiful African-American woman. Are you guilty? Period. Is that in the lawsuit? This is a joke. <laughs> did you that make fun of his girlfriend? Uh, I, I did. After, <laughs> after, she ha after she got a restraining order against her for calling my girlfriend's work to try to get her fired. Like, this is, this is the escalation that we're at now. It started with... Actual restraining orders against these lunatics, and now we're like we're paying actual lawyers to defend <laughs> us because just because we made a Billboard charting album called uh, "Santa Cuck," bald-headed <laughs> lies about <laughs> Maddox. That's what he's suing us over. Jesus Christ! Well, well, I, I think he may have some ground to stand on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so no. do I. <laughs> we're quick, having too though, much you, fun. You, you glazed over the him trying to to fuck with your girlfriend. Go into that a second because that's. Hilarious how he did that. Not hilarious. Story. I haven't been here in a while. I don't been, think you told that one here. I've I mean, been involved in a lot of altercations since then. Um, okay, so I, I'll I'll try to I'll try to just hit the sweet spots for you guys. Um, the whole the whole reason Maddox pissed off is because I started dating his ex girlfriend, who is a teacher. Uh, whatever. I did it. Uh, I, I knew I knew it was wrong. I did it anyway. Fucking. <laughs> 
<laughs> sue me. I'm a scumbag. Well, that's uh, his plan. He is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mission accomplished so, there. So this is the weirdest thing. I started getting these emails saying, hey, if you if you don't do what we say, um, we're going to call your girlfriend's school and, like, say all this shit about her, which is all lies. Uh, you know, it's just, like, weird, weird character stuff. Like, n nothing really specific either. We're just going to try to embarrass her, which I think is the point of the entire lawsuit. It's just them suing people's employers and trying to embarrass us. Uh, so sure enough, she gets a call. Uh, my girlfriend, who I call 80s girl on the show, because obviously I don't, I don't want to give her a real name for obvious reasons. Uh, she gets a call at school saying, hey, somebody called and gave this weird, disjointed uh, complaint about how you're a danger to students and, like, we need to fire you quickly. And then uh, the stupid ass gave her name and phone number to call them back if they had any questions about why they should fire this teacher. So sure enough, it's Maddox's girlfriend. We're like, yeah. what What in the hell? What are you thinking? Um, so a listener of the, sh of the dick show, of my show, said, dude, you need to get in a restraining order. Um, we did. We go to court, file the restraining order. The girl Maddox, Maddox and his girlfriend, the gruesome twosome, show up in court. Maddox is dressed like a he's wearing like a purple Wild West bartender uniform, <laughs> like a purple vest, like an undertaker and like all black. Like he's thinking he's a big city lawyer. He's coming in with a volume of documentation to prove why that this why this needed to happen. This call to get somebody fired. Uh, the judge gets up and just says like this is. She, the judge gets up and goes to the girl who did it, uh, Maddox's girlfriend. Hey, did you do this? Mental jest? And she goes, yes, but I have a reason. She goes, there's no, are you in, there's no reason for this. You are, bam, guilty, restraining order. Don't ever harass these people again. So he said, well, that's the end of that, right? <laughs> uh, eight months later, half a billion dollar lawsuit. <laughs> well, you better start half a, saving. Half a billion dollars. Like, that's such a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah. That it's almost like an admission that you're not going to get. I can see through, you know, how much you're sweating that it's really getting to you. Dude. You know, the, <laughs> the worry over the half a billion. Uh, it is, I mean, he's, he's, he's suing a guy like this, this poor schlub who calls himself Mad Cucks and just gets on video and does like a dumb impression of Maddox. It's not even, he's just a guy. Like he's just, he's suing him for $20 million too. <laughs> <laughs> Because he says he appears as a slovenly dressed, dim-witted individual, <laughs> and this has caused me unimaginable stress. Twenty million dollars worth of stress from this other fat guy doing jokes, which Mad Cucks is hilarious, and he's yeah. very, very quick. And it's a kind of quickness where he's like in the Maddox mentality, being quick, responding to it in the way that he would with his, you know, libertarian hate and all that. I love very, it. like on the outside looking good. in, this is hilarious. Yeah. I'm sure on the inside, it's really shitty. Because even well, though you know it's frivolous, like, it's everyone's still going to cause you stress. Everyone's pissed at me. Everyone's work is pissed at me. My real job guys are pissed at me. Like, all everybody, everybody is all stressed out. We're writing, like, just, have you guys had to hire lawyers for any reason? Uh, Ever? Yes, I've, I've hired a couple lawyers. They're yeah. so <laughs> friggin' <laughs> expensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Kyle, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Kyle knows. It's, yeah. it's like, and you don't want a cheap one. Like, exactly. like this, isn't, this isn't like I don't know. It, you, you don't cheap out when you buy a lawyer, right? When you buy one, when you hire a lawyer, you know. There, there's some things in life you like. Eh, give me the cheap one, you know. But not not a lawyer. The last lawyer, lawyer I paid. Here's the deal. I got a bill. It was twenty five thousand dollars, and I was like, oh <laughs> fuck. Okay, so I write Damn a check. Amateur. Sure. Yeah, I know, right? So I write a check and I pay it. And then nine months later, they're like, hey, this thing's still unpaid, but I'll tell you what, if you give us half of it, we'll just, you know, call it good. And I'm like, oh, fuck, really? I already paid it. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Never mind. Oh, that's how oh, it went I down. Cancel, cancel that fucking check. Like, I'm going to try yeah. that one. Just send me another. Kyle, you're like, it's like when you buy a microwave, you look at the really expensive one. You're like, I don't need that. I, could, I don't need the $500 one. I can, I'm going to get the $100 one. But the lawyer, you can't do that. You're like, well, what's the difference between the $1,000 an hour one and the $100 an hour one? Like, oh, uh, well, one is you're guilty. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, you ever go to, if you've ever been in court for anything, like traffic or whatever, like, you know, especially if it's the kind of, I don't know the different kinds of court, but basically there will be lots of people milling around, and they're all there for different shit. Traffic offenses, mm-hmm. and uh, there's also, like, child abusers and animal abusers mixed into the, the thing. Everybody's there. And you kind of look around, because there's a lot of waiting, and you kind of see... That guy got a cheap lawyer. That is a cheap lawyer. There's like a slovenly guy over there. Doesn't even have a briefcase. He's got like a three ring binder, like you had fifth grade. Yeah, his like way too big suit jacket is like down to like his thumb knuckle. No (laughs) shirt showing underneath it. Just looks. He's he's literally asking people if they have jewelry to use as collateral. Like this is a thing that that the criminal justice system. He's got a picture on his business card. Do you have any jewels? Do you have have any any expensive watches or anything? And it's it's like, look at that woman. Do you think she has? Does that look like Queen Victoria to you? That bitch ain't got no jewels. Yeah, that woman does not have a jewel unless she named her daughter that. (laughs) (laughs) This is crazy. Zero percent chance. (laughs) My daughter's name is Jewel, and then the other one's Crystal. <laughs> yeah, the other so one's Mercedes. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Uh, writing checks for lawyers for how much hilarious fun that we're having. But wait, you haven't stopped having hilarious fun. It seems like I don't. I don't. I'm not. Fo- I'm, I'm, forgive me. I'm out of date. But it sounds like <laughs> he's pissed off because you like poking him a lot. Like you are poking oh, yeah. him a lot. Yeah. Kind of well, scared me. Uh, I hope Wings doesn't doesn't come after me for half a billion dollars. <laughs> oh, you got a beef with this guy, Wings? Uh, a little bit. I, I think we smoothed it over some. Actually, last night I uh, I, I got on Wings Redemption's uh, uh, Twitch stream and we streamed till like six thirty in the morning. Had a good time. But 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 yeah, we had, had a little you bit. You just of saved it. yourself half a bill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I might have. And everyone being pissed at you for like three months. Yeah, Woody. Uh, we do poke him, <laughs> but he started it because he stole the feed. Look. Oh, this look. is getting more mature by the second. <laughs> No, it's, it's funny. <laughs> this is, all I wanted to do was go have my own show my, and mind my own business, like always, by the way. But he took the feed that we had for the biggest problem and stole it and pointed it to his new show. So I said, well, what, what, come on, what's that all about? So I started making fun of him. Then he started releasing our bonus content for free. I kept making fun of him. And that's when uh, uh, I, I, it's a long it's a long sordid tale. That's when he released this. Out of nowhere, he released a video saying that I was a quote rape apologist mm. because because I I said explicitly that um, women and everyone should always plan for the worst. Like right, hope for the best, plan for the worst, and all in all instances. Yeah. Don't good get advice. drunk and pass well, out. You're in, you're in good company. Woody here is a rape apologist. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah, those women all dressed provocatively. <laughs> Man, this is, they're built this, for it. This, this race of the of the twenty teens is this rape apology. Everyone's now it came out of nowhere. I don't remember it growing up. Anyone being a rape apologist, but now everybody's towing the line of being one. Uh, mm. Yeah, he hit me with that. So. I guess after that, it was it was gloves. It wasn't rock. even something you said, was it? It was like an eight chan post from like a fan or something, or that's where they posted like yeah. the the list of all the crimes you'd committed and such. Yeah, right? that was it. Some uh, some eight chan and Max has a lot of screwball fans, like this jackass Mister Burgers that was going like he. <laughs> this guy Mister Burgers is obsessed with Maddox, and he just he he hounds his girlfriend all the time, and I get blamed for it. I don't know the guy. I don't know what these idiots are doing. I Online. like these fan names you've got. You got Mr. Burgers. What, what was the what was the, the, Mad the one got? Mad Cucks? Yeah. Why do we have people like this? This is horse shit. <laughs> we need I, I want some scary people like this. We need our own whack pack of, of deviants. Well, see, and yeah, we cultivating a whack. You have uh Lettuce Jones, I think he's a prisoner here in St. Louis where I live. Uh, right? yeah, he just got out of he just got out of jail. Big he's Lettuce a, Jones? Yeah, Big Lettuce Jones. He just got out of jail. He was telling us that the thing he missed most in when he was in jail was food. Like he would watch TV and see the McDonald's dollar sign <laughs> menu and just go and start crying like a like a manly <laughs> weeping tear. Like oh that fucking that those dollar cheese and they're, they're those dollar chicken sandwiches look so good. I misinterpreted. Uh, I thought it was the I thought he missed prison food when you started telling the story, which oh, is no, no. That's yeah. Cool. I I I grew up eating poorly. 
And my mom used to always say that it was her gift to our future brides that we had really low standards for food. And when I went off to college, everyone was like, what is this like gruel that they're serving? And I'm like, holy shit, <laughs> <laughs> this is outstanding. Uh, and nobody's going to hit me with a, an ice scraper or a stiletto <laughs> there. Woody has a little bit of uh, – Woody was uh, beaten by his mother with uh, stiletto <laughs> shoes and ice scrapers. Yeah. Mental and physical abuse. Let's not gloss over that. You're right. Yeah, we don't want to be glossing over to it but too much. look how great I am now. Huh? <laughs> Did your mom have her own? I <laughs> <laughs> got a flying machine, a big house. Kids. What were you saying, Dick? Uh, I said, did your mom like set you up a cryptocurrency and then crash it two weeks later? Like, oh, there you go. You'll appreciate that when you grow up. Like, bitch, I don't understand tokens. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, I have, did we lose Kyle? I have, oh, we lost Kyle's video. Uh, we lost Kyle. I have so little understanding of that cryptocurrency shit. Do you have any? But, like, I don't have any, mm. but I don't know anyone of my friends or, you know, online or otherwise that have them that have actually used it to purchase anything legal, for one, or purchase anything. Most people are just holding on to it the way they do, like, uh, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah. okay, when you, when you, truly are talking to your attorney or team of attorneys you know they have to be telling you like this is ridiculous you're gonna be fine for every the one part. of them no they can't say that because they're lawyers uh they they just like they're very they are all trying not to laugh and i think they feel bad that i have to pay them like i get that sense and then they all they all give me the so they, they say they start every conversation with this look dick um I just I have to stress again that we are taking this very seriously. Uh, however, we really need to know if you wrote an album called uh, Santa Cuck, and if it was actually. If we need to know if this billboard is a Photoshop or if that's a, or if you actually did this. I'm like, this is a Photoshop. Like all of it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> what was what was the <laughs> Don't what you was guys the understand jokes? Yeah. I feel like that South Park when uh, when what was it? Uh, Carlos Mencia is trying to explain fish sticks to Kanye. Like, don't you understand that's a <laughs> this is a joke, you idiot? Stop <laughs> suing everybody. Stop it. Well, you were. I was really hoping a while back because. Apparently, there's a billboard right outside of Maddox's place, and you were considering <laughs> purchasing it and putting yeah. a big ad for, I guess, your show or something up there, and you never decided to. Yeah, that, whatever's funny. <laughs> just, just to antagonize him. I like how I mean, Dick I, is completely no, innocent. Can you believe this wacko <laughs> suing me? Like, funny. what? Is he out of his mind? It seems to me <laughs> that he's out of his mind over there. The things no, I'm had... doing, like buying billboards and, and setting up websites. And but they... that's a joke, and it's hilarious. Dude, okay. you're making dickles to Sony? So, that's great. When, uh, when Maddox's ex-girlfriend... Um, uh, uh, you know, we lived together. Uh, we, she was going through her stuff, and she found this letter that he wrote her to try and get back with him, like a love letter. After they had broken up, and he was a piece, complete piece of shit, uh, he wrote her this this letter to try and get her back. So I said, all right, buddy, I have this letter. Stop messing around with us, or I'm going to read this letter that you wrote, and it's very embarrassing. So he oh. sued us, so I had to read it. We had yeah, well, by law, <laughs> right? I mean, you had a contract. If you do this, I'll do that. <laughs> we had a live show in Chicago where Mad Cucks uh, read the letter. Well, also getting sued for that. Um, yeah. Oh, Man, what a litany go. of shit you are going yeah. through right now. It's great. You can't, yeah. It seems like every joke you've made, you're getting sued for. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I thought Dr. Phil was the biggest jackass that I mess with in the world, but I got a new I got a new high score. <laughs> um, so you oh my God, you stole this guy's you said you dated his ex girlfriend, but I think what you mean is you stole her while they were still dating. No, dude, they were broken up for uh three three years. They were oh. broken up for three or four years. He had a new girlfriend who lived with him. Like this is the most this is the most messed up. Uh, dis dysfunctional shit, like, um... That is a much lower know, level offense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were at a wedding, we left the wedding together, that's all he knew, he instantly loses, Maddox instantly loses his mind, starts texting her, obsessively texts me, meanwhile, his current girlfriend is just sitting there twiddling her thumbs, I guess. Um, I don't mm. know, I would be, I would be surprised, just knowing women as well as I do.
I would be surprised if she didn't sleep. She wrote a book on him. That. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be surprised if she didn't hightail it out of there that night and say, hey, I'm going to go stay with a friend. Um, his name is Mr. Big Penis. <laughs> you deal with these unresolved issues with your uh, old uh, boyfriend there. Oh, you did it again. You just stumbled into another lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Man, yeah. Uh, like when you know there's a three year gap, like I know what you were thinking it was like a, a girlfriend stealing thing, but is doesn't that make right. it beyond the pale? Like he doesn't own this woman. You can't like if I break up with a girl and three years later she has a boyfriend, I can't suddenly try and edge back into her life, not even to be with her again, just to force that guy out. I, I like, think there's it, it depends on your relationship with the guy, in my opinion, right? Like if yeah. you're super tight and it's like, dude, she's the one that got away, like you know, could you find anyone else? Like I I can imagine that scenario going down. If she just, but I could also be like, yeah, you know, they, she, she's going to move on with her life too. Yeah, I, I did one better. Uh, mm -hmm. He called me, Maddox called me after the wedding incident saying, hey, you left with 80s girl. Uh, I need an explanation for that. And I said, hey, buddy, uh, I would never date her. Um, my friendship with you means more than more than any kind of romantic entanglement. I, of course, I was lying. Right, because you've I, already slept with her once at this point. <laughs> yeah, well, more than once. Uh, <laughs> many, many We had times. all night, Woody, four times. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. He's he. Uh, I think he browbeat it out of someone because it was it was totally a secret. Like it was for all he knew, it didn't even happen until until he found out and canceled the show. Well, that wasn't during. Uh... Oh, that was during Biggest Problem, right? Yeah, that's what started this entire disaster. It's a woman. It's a Trojan War that we're having over here. All over a woman. Hmm. God, what a pain in the ass. I still, like, I was the biggest fan of Biggest Problem. I've listened to every episode oh, multiple thanks, times. And I remember the first episode, because I didn't know who the fuck you were at first. I only knew who Maddox was. And I remember Mark. the first episode thinking, like, God, this fucking dick guy is so loud and annoying and will not yeah. shut up. And by the end of the series, it had like, well, really like five episodes in, it kind of flipped. But by the end, it was like, God, will Maddox just shut the fuck up about bringing up his old problems like libertarian broken window fallacies and things, things that are so stone cold ridiculous and, <laughs> and like, I don't know, just too, too many callbacks. But it was a great show. It was a shame that it uh, ended. Thanks, you man. So wait, are, are you still apart. with this Helen of Troy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I won't make any more jokes then. Okay. How long no, you go nuts? It's been a while. I, I, it, he, yeah, he's not going to well, sue us. <laughs> <laughs> he might. Yeah, I do. I do worse things. I take your soul. I don't settle things in court. Would you I say that she is nicknames that last forever? So, 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 <laughs> I, I feel like on Valentine's Day, you just sit with this young lady and just say, you know, you're worth it all. And that's yeah. the only gift you have to give. Like you're worth the half billion dollar lawsuits, the the it, the lawyers, the the legal system, the endless. Online abuse, you're worth it all. So, so you didn't get me anything? No. No, I, I don't have any money. I <laughs> the attorneys took it. <laughs> I'm, I'm half a billion in debt. <laughs> uh, I, I bet you're line. actually using a lot of restraint in what you're exposing to the world. Because if you're with a girl who was with a guy... Like, she knows most of this, the under-the-surface dirt and shit, like the nasty habits and all that kind of stuff oh, that yeah. would be embarrassing. And so, if anything, you're being very, you know, closed and keeping most of that stuff close to your chest, I would think. Yes, you would be correct in thinking that. Uh-huh, you see, but if, it might not be out of kindness, right? You know, if he fires that bullet, he doesn't have that bullet anymore, right? He might be keeping the gun loaded. Or he but might Maddox clearly doesn't care that thing. he has that bullet because uh, that's what mm -hmm. was with the note thing. Where he's like, I'm going to read this humiliating note, and if you do anything, and then he did it anyway. I mean, it's not even that humiliating. It's just weird. Like, we've all written I, a letter to a girl to try to get her back. Not since uh, high this, Yeah. I, I kind of want to hear no. this. I kind of want to hear this letter. You've never written a letter to a girl? No, to get her back. That was the second part of it. Oh. No. Or to win her over, if even. If I break up with a girl, I am on to the next one. That's... Yeah, oh. that's Woody. <laughs> Pump him and dump him. That's it. Oh God, that's Woody, sir. Uh, you, dude, you called it. This Woody's walking. This wood's got a forest to plow. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, we got Dick back with us, and I understand there's been a little bit of an update. What's up, boys? 
Yeah, yeah. What's going dude. On, man? So, I, are you down I, one billion dollars now from this lawsuit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two very, there's two very, um, one hypothetical reality crashed down upon Maddox. Um, <laughs> I was being sued for three hundred and eighty million dollars <laughs> in New York, where I do not live, uh, <laughs> by a very angry man. Uh, former internet pirate author uh, Maddox. Maddox, the best page in the universe. And I won. Last week, case dismissed with prejudice. I think basically I'm unsuable now. <laughs> like, I think that's the way that works. The judge said, case dismissed. Uh, Maddox, this lawsuit is indecipherable. Um, get, get the hell out of here. You can't sue somebody for making fun of you. You is that really what it came them. down to? The judge being like, what am I even supposed to do with this? Goodbye. No, it was, I don't know how, how closely you guys follow it, but the, the courtroom transcript where um, a 70 year old judge, or I, I don't know how old he was, but like he's a very wise and experienced judge. The case went to commercial court. So this is a guy who rules on like Samsung versus Google. Um, because Maddox sued for so much money, it went from the, the normal like traffic court, Judge Judy court, where anything goes, to this court where the judge is deciding on the fates of like multi-million uh, dollar companies every day. Billion. Billion, yeah. Uh, he, the court transcripts is this guy just tearing into the lawsuit on every page. 55 <laughs> pages of sick burn after sick <laughs> judge on page three the judge interrupts maddox's lawyer and goes uh they're making fun of him so he's on the internet you should you should see what people say about me on the internet it's like oh man you're in for <laughs> enough time if the judge's excuse is if the judge is thinking you should see what they say about me on the internet yeah <laughs> that's great Just sign off loser yeah, <laughs> yeah uh it was um, so I was being sued. I was being sued. My company, like my personal private life company, my non-internet asshole company, was being sued. Um, some comedians who work on my show, this guy Stereos Kokonos, was being sued. It was Maddox and his girlfriend suing pretty much everybody I know because we made fun of him too much. And his Maddox's girlfriend threw in this weird claim that we were being sued for defamation for saying she has herpes, which no, which we never said. <laughs> like, it was the weirdest thing. We're suing you because uh, Dick said that I had herpes, and but we don't, we, there's no proof of it. Like, at one I, point- I would have never assumed that, but now I'm thinking. No, me <laughs> that's, that's great. Exactly, yeah. That's exactly what I said. The judge said to them, uh, I can't, like, Maddox included in his lawsuit these screenshots that he printed out, like, all in a row. So there's 10 screenshots on a regular piece of paper that are like screenshots for ants. So the judge opens <laughs> it up and says, well, I didn't bring my microscope to court today. So can you just explain to me what, uh, what evidence this is? Uh, I don't, it sounded like he was hosting what a What were the screenshots? Show. Just dick show fans being like, fuck you, you're a cuck, that kind of stuff? <laughs> so you, know what's, you know what's crazy about that? that um, and this is the weirdest <laughs> twist in the whole case. There's like the lawsuit is full of Maddox's lawsuit is full of these um, of like I don't want to call them death threats because people like run their mouths all the time on the Internet. And you kind of you never know who's on the other end of the screen. Like it's usually some it's pr like a 13 year old kid saying, I'm going to kill you. I don't consider a death threat because yeah. it's how it's they not talk. credible. I don't know. You yeah. ever hear of a school shooting? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Luckily, I don't go to school anymore. So I'm 100% safe from school shootings. Um, we found out that, so the lawsuit is like, here's, this is all Dick's fans saying this horrible stuff about my girlfriend and about me and making death threats and like making all these racially charged insults. We found out like a month ago that the guy making all of those statements was a guy named Mr. Burgers, who is a massive diehard Maddox fan. Like, it was just... So it was like a false flag. It wasn't even a false flag. It was just a false brain. Like, the guy was just a lunatic going around uh, trying to antagonize Maddox to get it. It's like, it's like Selena's... Uh, the, the, the president of the Selena fan club is the one that killed her, right? It was one of those situations. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so Mr. Burgers is, uh, is like... Is Maddox's Selena or something like that. I mean, you know what I'm trying to say. Did they bring was... Mr. Burgers out of 
the internet shadows and into the courtroom or into it at all, or is it just? I did. I got him to write me a statement saying <laughs> I made all those comments for no reason. Like I was having a rough time. <laughs> Signed, Mister Burger. <laughs> uh, was he just? So he was just trying to poke and prod and get you guys to fight more, basically, right? No, for his I own think entertainment. He was- I think he was just trying to get a reaction just from Matt. A crazy you person, know? it seems. He didn't have really yep. a thought out motive and plan on this thing. He just is a crazy person. Yeah, I mean, and that wasn't the only thing in the case. The other thing, the other thing that Maddox wanted uh, four hundred million dollars for yeah. is because <laughs> is because a guy on the Dick Show, Asterios Coconos, made a comedy album where he took Christmas songs and just changed all the words <laughs> to calling Maddox a cuck. <laughs> Oh, that was Merry <laughs> Cuxmas, right? Yeah, no, it, was, it was Cuxmas Carols, Bald Headed Live. Cuxmas so, Carols. And he recorded it in one night. So he got all the Dick Show listeners to write him the crappiest parody songs of Christmas songs that are like, Cuck, 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 cuck Attic, it's a Cuck. <laughs> So it becomes it, it it charts on Billboard like it's so the idea is so stupid <laughs> and so funny that like thousands of people buy it. Next thing you know, like cut to cut to probably a year <laughs> and a half later, an eighty year old judge is looking at this lawsuit and going, "Hmm, um, Cucksmith Carols." And the lawyers get ready to tell him. He goes, "No, I've seen it. It's the one, it's the picture. It's the one with the picture of Santa Cuck on it, right?" <laughs> the go, that, that's right, Your Honor. That's right. Like this is, is it a- just surreal being in a situation there, seeing a real judge who rules on you know Samsung versus whoever have to read stuff about cucks and did- then legally decree him. You no, know, people can call you a cuck. Sorry. Did he? I mean, go ahead. Did he earn a lot of money with that record? You know, um, it I charted think- on Billboard. People were buying it. It's like. You do, it's like you don't have to sell that many to chart in comedy. Like, it's a couple okay. thousand. I, I mean, look, I'm not going to sneeze at, like, $5,000 or $9,000 or however much you made on that. Um, but it's not it's not as much as, as I thought it would have been. I thought like, in two nights he tripped into life-changing money. Just all, yeah. not that. It's not like that. It's like when you publish a book, everybody thinks you're just rolling in dough all of a sudden, but you're lu- you're lucky to get a couple grand, which is great because you know, now in uh, until the United States uh is destroyed from within by liberals, uh the <laughs> the album Cucksmith Carols will live in the Library of Congress forever because it's a Billboard charting album. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> you know, there are some things that are that are better than money. You know what I mean? Like he'll have that He'll have that forever in a court document in the New York commercial court. There's a conversation between a lawyer that charges $400 an hour and a judge that decides on multi-billion dollar cases on like spelling out cuck and explaining what a cuck is and then reading through the lyrics. You weren't Uh, able to hit him up for your attorney's fees, were you? So this, this case has been going on since November. Um, and, I've learned a lot about the legal process in that time. Like, as you would, you know, think somebody might getting sued for $400 million. Yeah. One of those things is that in order to counter sue somebody, um, well, first of all, New York is, does not have strict protections a, 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 for, for speech. California, where I live, has very strict protections over speech because we've got Hollywood, we get the entertainment industry. Um, if you sue somebody in California in an attempt to shut them up, they can counter you with a, what's called an anti slap lawsuit. So in California, if something like this were to happen, if Maddox sues me in California, which I mean, if he had balls, he would, hmm. uh, I could hit him <laughs> back with an anti slap suit that would cost him nine times my attorney's fees. Like that's <laughs> California. New York, nothing. Uh, New York, you're, it's your privilege to pay $30,000 to defend yourself against a jilted ex-lover uh, and his DUI, his multiple DUI having incompetent attorney. Is, is that a it's, pretty good estimate on what it cost you, thirty grand? Yeah. Yeah, mm. I, I would, it's 30 to 40, I think, Asterios. Oh, you, you know what's the worst part, though? Asterios, the guy who wrote the... Cuxmas Carol's album, uh, he's no longer working at the company 
he was working for it, Weber uh, Weber Shandwick, the company he was working at when he got sued, who also who Maddox also sued. Uh, he's no longer working there. I think he got fired. He's not saying, but everything points to lawsuit gets lawsuit gets decided, it gets dismissed, and the poor guy loses his job, uh, just as was Maddox's intent the entire time. Does he have any repercussions? Asterios? Like, so, hey, this was a, a you know frivolous lawsuit, and I ended up losing my job. Counter you know, suit for four hundred million. Here's the thing, <laughs> Maddox, in a a uh, boldly stupid move in his lawsuit, signed an affidavit saying that he pretended to be a woman. This is Maddox <laughs> we're talking about, the internet pirate, alphabet of manliness, the internet badass from the nineties. He pretended to be a woman named Heather S a reporter from Condé Nast, and he wrote, he wrote Asterios' company, like he wrote an email to Asterios' company basically saying that Asterios is a misogynist. Like he, he attributed everything I say to Asterios and then said, this guy's a huge misogynist. Uh, I'm writing a report for Condé Nast. Do you have anything to say about you employing such a huge woman-hating misogynist uh, I can't wait to like publish this article and put what you have to say in it. Like obviously trying to get them to fire the guy. Yeah. Maddox admits to this in his lawsuit. Like he signs it for no for no reason. Like nobody can figure out why he would admit to doing this, but in my opinion, like in my now Why would he bring that up? It's why would he bring up that he's been pretending to be a woman online? First of all, that's 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 weird. Uh, yeah. Number two. I mean, it's not that be... weird, right? I mean, people do it. <laughs> yeah, usually for like just... sexual thrills. Or yeah, something. yeah. Not I mean, there are lots of great reasons taken. to pretend to be your woman online. I'm just saying. Look, I don't know that Maddox <laughs> didn't have his pants around his ankles with a bottle of lotion in one hand while he was pretending to be Heather S. Emailing Which is also not weird. None of us also. can know that. We can only speculate. <laughs> <laughs> um, didn't uh, didn't what's his name that uh, uh, Mad Cucks. So there's a character on the Dick Show as well, whose entire purpose was to make fun of Maddox, Mad Cucks, and he's an overweight gentleman who pretends to be retarded, and speaks in the same cadence as Maddox. He was in the lawsuit too, right? Just some yeah. fan who started he the pre- character. He doesn't pretend to be retarded. That was in the lawsuit, but he doesn't. He doesn't. He uses the same dumb fan voice that Maddox always uses when he's lo- when he's mocking his fans. Uh, he was in the lawsuit, but he didn't get served properly. So in order to like get somebody in the lawsuit, you got to show up at the front door knock on the door and say, here, you're served. Uh, Mm -hmm. Maddox, idiot, and his idiot uh, DUI-having lawyer, idiot whiskey-soaked lawyer, couldn't find the guy's address. So he just, he got out by default. Like, if you don't serve somebody in 120 days, uh, you lose. Which is out for him. Yeah. At any point throughout all this, were you like, oh, man, this could go sour? Or the whole time were you like, God, I just hope these legal bills don't add up too much because this is bullshit. Nothing's going to happen. Like... There's uh, at no point that I think Maddox would win this stupid lawsuit. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that this this lawyer Kevin Landau uh, saw Maddox for a gigantic sucker and said, "I'm gonna write a lawsuit that this guy thinks he deserves." Like, people come from the Midwest to L.A. and they get suckered in like with their passion projects. Like, oh yeah, they they're, they're delusional. You know, yeah. they show up, they get off the bus, and then somebody fills their head with all these grand ideas and then takes all their money and gives them whatever they want. Like, so in this case, and, and I, I think that's true in this case because this guy Kevin Landau has done it with multiple people. Um, he, gets, he gets people who are a little bit off in the head, like touched in the head, not quite in reality, and then sues based on their feelings. Because mm-hmm. this lawsuit was it was entirely feelings based. Uh, shit like don't say I have herpes. Like that's not that's not a you can't sue somebody because they they said you had herpes somewhere. Um, yeah. Which apparently so, they didn't even say. They just threw that in as yeah. a as a thing. So at no point was I worried that I would lose. But when you get like Maddox sued me, he sued my the comp the marketing company that I founded with two of my friends. And when that lawsuit dropped, like, he named clients of ours in the suit. When that lawsuit dropped, everyone's asshole tightened. It's like, you, we're in a business of perception yeah. and comfort. And when something like that drops, like, people can drop you, people 
fire you. Like, you know, look what happened with the stereos. He got fired. He did nothing. The guy did nothing, and he won the lawsuit. It was dismissed. He's still out of a job. Um, he's still yeah, out, out of a job. It strains, like, it strains relationships. People kind of just, even if it's not your fault, people around you just kind of don't like you because you brought this upon them, in a way, if that makes sense. When you were doing uh, Biggest Problem in the Universe with Maddox, which was a great show, uh, was there like a tipping point in there? Like, I'm sure at the beginning of that show, you're like, oh, this is the kind of behavior that Maddox would never engage in. No fucking way. Was there like a tipping point throughout your relationship with him there where you're like, oh, this, this guy seems a little like, kind of like a loose cannon? It's, it's weird, man. If you go back and listen to the old show. You can there's... tell the difference in your relationship as that show goes on. Yeah. Like more combative. Yeah, if you listen to Maddox's stories, and even if you go on his website, um, he, there's there's countless examples of him sicking mobs on people. Like he'll get he'll get a hold of somebody's email address and he'll tell everybody to contact their work and try to get them fired. Like that's that's mm -hmm. the only he loves doing it. Um, he's he's threatened some some listeners of my show. They'll like they'll email him and bust his balls and say, "Hey, I used to be a fan." And I think you're kind of a despicable prick for what you're doing to Dick. Uh, he'll respond immediately with a picture of their family and their kids and say, I'm going to call Child Protective Services on you. Or like a link to Child Protective Services. That Service. happened? Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. That happened two weeks ago. Um, and it For a troll comment? Dude. He'll, Maddox goes through and photoshops pictures of people's families that he finds on Facebook and like makes their kids say, "I didn't know my mommy was such a foul mouth bitch." Like this is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the end part of that's funny. <laughs> it's, 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 it's funny. It's funny. Um, but it's like, it's like a weird. Um, it's a weird obsession the guy has. I I honestly think that, I think that his life got entirely fucked up by this psycho that he's dating, uh, Jessica Blum, Mental Jess, the, his co. His co-plaintiff. Mm -hmm. uh, his girlfriend is the one who called my girlfriend's uh, school trying to get her fired. She's like, she's really big on activism. She's a trade show model. So she's got nothing to do all day, but think about, think about how to get outraged and like wonder why the world doesn't give her a living. Like she's the worst kind of entitled L.A. trade show model bitch. Trash. Just, trash. <laughs> just garbage. Trash. Just a garbage human being that... I mean, she just she, at this point she should just be put up against a wall, right? Yeah, is that a direct <laughs> quote from you, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
they were going after pretty much everyone I knew. Like my my company, my the marketing company I founded with two other guys got sued for twenty million bucks in the lawsuit. Uh, <laughs> they didn't do shit. Um, the some of the some of the assholes on Maddox's network would will do entire shows like don't, dedicated to or they used they used to do this a lot, but after after the lawsuit and after. Um, after my two years of dealing with this, I think I punched a lot of the starch out of Maddox. Like he came out strong and he would do like entire uh, episodes dedicated to like shitting on my family and putting pictures of them, which is I don't care if people shit on me because I think it's funny. But like when you didn't when you didn't spend the last 10 years on the Internet of your life being an asshole, it's right. it's a crappy feeling. So it's so like, he was attacking uh, your family. I wasn't even familiar with that. Yeah, it, and, you know, I don't like to cry cyberbullying because at, at the end of the day, my Because you're my Republican. Parents, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my family doesn't give a fuck. Like, they hmm. they laugh it off. They say, my mom doesn't laugh it off, but everybody else pretty much laughs it off. Um, an email came through saying to me saying, hey, if you don't knock this shit off, we're going to call your girlfriend's school. And uh, all the parents and all the teachers, and we're going to let her know, let them know what you're doing, meaning me. And even though I'm doing nothing, I'm sure everyone realizes full well that ha any kind of association with a, someone like myself would be a death sentence. Like you're a social pariah, your fucking career's over in normie world. Um, because for obvious reasons. Uh, so. I said, go to the, go to your school, go to your principal, and cut and uh, get out in front of this. Like, tell them that this is going to happen because it's going to happen because I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. Obviously, uh, mm -hmm. so she did, and they sat him down. And people are much more understanding when you come at when you, the first story is the one that is it's the true one, right? Yeah. So she told them what happened, and of course, as exactly as I predicted, and she told them it happened. The call came through. Um, the call came through and listed a whole bunch of reasons why my girlfriend should not be a teacher and shouldn't be around kids. And th it listed a bunch of like fake, uh, psychiatric conditions or, uh, well, just bullshit. The kind of stuff you'd say if you were trying to get somebody fired and the person calling very stupidly, the secretary said, well, who is this in case we have questions in case we have more questions to ask you, who is this? And what's your phone number? Fucking girl gave her name and phone number to him. It's Jessica. <laughs> or, yeah, she said, oh, it's Jessica, and here's my number. It's fucking what a retard. Maddox's. Yeah, exactly. So I tell this story on the show, and a guy listening to the show happens to be a criminal defense lawyer slash restraining order guy. And he's like, oh, yeah, give me a call. We'll, we'll talk about it. Bring her in. Like, I do this all the fucking time. This is my job. Like, this is literally all I do all day, every day. So we went in there and uh, took a, it took a while, a couple of months to get the restraining order going. Um, it's a whole saga in and of itself. We had to serve. We had to, we, I got a friend of mine who's a paparazzi, an ex-paparazzi, to serve Maddox with a bouquet of roses, <laughs> knock on the door, knock on his door, because I know where the motherfucker lives. And he's like, oh, yeah, hey, is, uh, is your girlfriend here? Is Jessica here? And she came out screaming on the phone about the restraining order that was getting filed against her. And he's like, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, she goes, oh, are those for me? And he goes, yep, you're being served. And handed her the, the service envelope that you got to show up in the court to defend yourself. You know, I'm funny. Everybody adds their own flair, I guess. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so the court in court, it was it was a good... Uh, I don't know. It was a good, uh, good twenty minutes of this uh, this chick trying to defend herself. She admits right away that she made the call, and then spends the rest of it trying to justify that what she did was in good faith. She begs the court to let her boyfriend in, so he, so Maddox, so he can explain it. Uh, we read through the whole thing, and then did he went get to, to explain it, defense. or did the court just say no? Of course, said no. Fuck you. Mm. Uh, you don't. We don't call people's jobs in this country. If you got a problem with somebody, call the police. Mm. Um, the actual document, the actual defense of the restraining order document is fascinating because it is all written about me from Maddox's point of view. And he included shit. He weirdly included emails that he sent his ex 
citing them as evidence of of uh, of psychiatric conditions. However, he didn't redact anything. So it's like he included all these emails begging her to get back with him and saying how he goes to her her apart her new apartment and she wouldn't let him in. Like he t he goes over all this uh, psycho ex stalker shit that he did. And as stupid as he is, he just included it in the defense. Um, so we had a good time with that. So it, is Maddox having any luck with it? Because I, I hear your perspective of it. And it's always like, oh, my God, this guy is crazy. This guy's losing at every turn. Like nothing's yeah. going his way. Is anything going his way that we haven't covered? Like it is. Oh, no. Um, he just got. Let's see. He just it just got decided that he owes Asterios Kokonos. You guys know him, right? Yeah, he yep. was on the show. Yeah, we had him on. Funny. Yeah, he's fucking great. He's fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. And fuck him because I guess he beat me in the poll of who's the favorite PKA guest on your fucking subreddit, which did, which definitely pissed me off. Well, uh, oh, that that unofficial, in your un defense, unofficial bootleg poll. I, we'll, I we'll voted ten thousand times. Script them to so. do another one. <laughs> Just kidding. You guys need to like, start. It, Having voter IDs for those polls. Um, <laughs> Asterios is now owed two hundred and ninety dollars from filing fees from Maddox for. That's it. For, that wasn't is, isn't Asterios out like five digits from all this legal stuff? Yes, yes, he's out thirty six thousand dollars or something like that. And well, a job. And a job. he's out uh, thirty five thousand seven hundred and ten dollars now. <laughs> so you are in finance. Um, <laughs> that was only. For the filing fee for the initial dismissal. So Asterios has sanctions coming up, uh, which is uh, sanctions are for Maddox, his ex lawyer, Kevin Landau, this guy, this lawyer who, this scumbag lawyer who's got an interlock device on his car because he's uh, been caught drinking and driving so much, hmm. which I'm not one to talk for drinking and driving, but I think getting caught is, is <laughs> different. <laughs> Getting caught three times and then failing the interlock thing, that's a very different level of drinking and driving. Anyway, Maddox, Kevin Landau, and this ex-girlfriend with the restraining order, they're all due back in court in New York to defend themselves against sanctions for um, for costing Asterios' job, and which could be, who knows what, he could get all his money back in one fell swoop. It's going to be great. Does Maddox have that kind of money? No, absolutely no. not. Well, I don't it's hard to get his money back. Speaking of that, that two hundred and ninety dollars that Asterios just got, I think that he's selling bonds on it. I think that he's going to be selling, to, in order to get the debt, you've got to you you know you've got to sue people to get the money that they owe you. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. Asterios doesn't have money to spend on chasing after his two hundred and ninety dollars. I think he's going to sell shares of his two hundred and ninety dollars to fans. Who can then go pursue Maddox for their share of whatever debt they purchased from Asterios? So I'm excited about that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really like your fan involvement. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs>
Okay, tell me about this fan of yours. Wow. Look, show me show me what he does. Oh my god. Is he laughing at that man's cancer diagnosis? This is your fan? How does he have fans? You must be a big deal if your fans have fans. My goodness, your fans have so many fans. You must have a million fans. I like you. Let me sub. What's your That's what happens. It's a great way to phrase video. it sound like um what you'd say to like a woman just, that just left a battered relationship like there are all these people with paragraphs going like i can't believe you had to endure all this you're just a really uh, strong person it's like bro you got made fun of on the internet and then like sued 20 people <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah it's i mean that does seem like it's like what that. fucking happened and you're right yeah. this, is, this is the most curated comment section i've seen like like <laughs> fucking the dnc and rnc have more balls with their comment section than, than, than <laughs> so this bad. video. It's so bad. Like, and then uh, he's going through like telling them how strong they are for like telling him he's strong. It's like a rape crisis uh, hotline. Mm -hmm. It's really pathetic. He's his best thing on there. Oh, and it's not monetized because he put so many n words in it. It's not monetized. So he wasted five life. years, three hour <laughs> documentary that he could only do once and not making a dime on it. Now he's. Now he's re-releasing every section as its own video um, because there's like, because he says there's deleted scenes in each section. So to keep to keep the video to a to a reasonable three hours, he deleted some of his some of his crazier uh, receipts. So he's going to be re-releasing -re -re every section of this for, I don't know. Dude, six second, second time's the charm. He's gonna, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna yeah, go, I don't know how you're scrubbing works, through. But shocking number of ends in these screenshots just right? randomly scrubbing through it's like yeah what is i don't know how he, some of these if not at 54 27 is that what maddox looks like uh does he look like a little goblin and he's bald with a beard and that's maddox. his aids yeah that's what he, that's him mm, that's uh that's, he's got the, the best shame. thing on there is he's got a graph <laughs> He's got a graph to show how obsessed I am with him. Like, and it's a graph of how many times I've mentioned him on Twitter. His graph starts and his graph starts in 2021. And he's like, here's his, here's how much he's obsessed with me. Look at this, this is 2021. He's mentioned me 300 times. And here's 2020. It's 600 times. And then here's, and he goes back and here's 2017 and 2016. And it's 1400 times. But it's like a reverse time graph. Right. <laughs> You're showing that I'm that I dropped off like uh, exponentially talking about him, and he combined two years to make it the most. And it was the years that number one, our show ended, and number two that he sued me for three hundred and eighty million dollars. Like, why did you even include this graph if you had to reverse it and combine years? Uh, it's so stupid. Well, he, he probably made the graph and was like, "Well, this isn't compelling." <laughs> Maybe a little swap and do, a little combine. Yeah. Uh, nobody will notice. Like, why did you put the years on it then? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. And then, oh God, here's another thing that I don't. I haven't even watched this part yet. Apparently, a big piece of the video is him proving that he broke up with my, who, my, who's my now girlfriend. She, he features her heavily in the video. Um, his video. He he wants to show that he broke up with her and that she didn't broke up. She didn't break up with him, which is what I've been saying, which is actually hap what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it's got to be 10 years ago now. So Maddox produces this this letter that she wrote him after they broke up, which is like, oh, you know, uh, I'll never feel about anybody else the way I feel about you. Like normal chick shit that they say to you after they break up to fuck with you. Um, <laughs> not, you should never be friends with women after you break up with them because they're just going to try to fuck up your new relationships. Anyway, which I told him that when they broke up. Anyway. <laughs> So he produces this letter and says, see, she was, see, she still loved me. She said she'd never feel about anyone else. But now here comes the most retarded part. Maddox, in his, in another lawsuit where he, his defense for a restraining order that we filed against him and his girlfriend, which he lost, he put into evidence his psychotic reply to that letter. So this is a letter that we would, that I would never have had access to but for some stupid reason he put it in a restraining order defense and in that letter the first line is you know what i hate getting dumped and getting a letter like this so it's like this uh, he couldn't have he couldn't have supplied more worthless testimony 
Then this retarded video he gave Taylor. It just gives me stuff to talk about for like years, man. It's can so you imagine, dumb. Taylor, if we she had a breakup here July. and it led to stuff like this? Like, like you and I were tangled up in a $300 million lawsuit and arguing over a girl and who broke up with her like publicly. Can you imagine? I can't. Can imagine I literally that? cannot. We, if, is, if we had that no much world, beef, we would behave that way. If, if I had that much beef with you, we would fight. We would have to <laughs> fight and then we over. I can. Why did you? Why, how have you allowed this to happen, Dick? I, yeah. I don't, because I, I've made millions of dollars literally on this <laughs> on this guy on this like on his just total lack of shame. It's compelling. Or yeah. Understanding. You're winning what, me like, over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It too. makes sense. Housewife Kyle's getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness I gracious. Mean, how many millions? millions. <laughs> yeah, look, at, look at this. I don't even know. Don't don't even put it on the page because it's uh he probably has too many N words or stuff, but yeah, just don't look, open this neck. I just look added at a how, round about to our house. <laughs> look at how schizo this doxing website Maddox has made uh appears like from a normal person looking at this. Brother, it's got this me. Is wild. Me, my girlfriend, and my co-host, who's done literally nothing to him. Then it's got Meet Nick the Ricardo. hate mob. It's got an Meet? SS no, logo. Hang on, do we, do we, we don't want to show this, do we? No, do don't. Not, do no, that. don't show this. Just, 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 I wanted to like have Zach know what everybody wanted because I didn't uh, know. Keep scrolling down. Then he has five thousand people, like a World War II memorial, who were, um, who were in like a Facebook group for my show in 2017. Look at the amount of people on there. I got a question. I'm down to the part where it That's says insane. meet the hate mob, and there's yeah. a four by four block of of photographs of 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 guys who all look very related. It, those are all different people, right? Yeah, those are just random people who like yeah. called him a cuck on Facebook, and he's okay. been talking <laughs> about it. Wow. Okay, just double checking. They they look very similar, all of them. He was he for, for the guy who was like uh, an OG of the internet. He handles this shit so fucking poorly. Like, has he ever let one thing roll off his back? Like, who gives a shit? No. Because it doesn't seem like it. No, uh, I don't think so. I don't know if he's going to start after this, but I don't think releasing a, a three-hour movie to say that you dumped somebody else, they didn't dump you, and then breaking that movie up into smaller chunks and re-releasing them over the course you of know, the year is a good way to get your I think it's uh, genius. I'm going to get back at my eighth grade girlfriend. You know, this one, this one genius, <laughs> this one genius now. named himself with like one of those funky fonts from Microsoft Word that's just symbols. So he made out like a bandit. And hmm. this guy named Zyler, he must be happy that he's at the end of every list, I guess. Yeah. Wow. Z Zyler. Zyler. Yeah, that, that's, um, that is insane to have this, this page up doxing yeah. all those people accusing them of being nazi well, hang on a second well hang on a second uh, is is there any chance that accidentally somehow or another he's ever been afraid that the quote-unquote hate mob might come get him has he ever been threatened in a kind of a realistic kind of manner because no, we know what we know a we know a, a person online who the threats got so bad and like we're gonna come and get you that he yeah. like duplicated the you know everybody's got kind of a you look at Woody's background oh, yeah. and like like this guy duplicated his background like you know you you you've got shit behind you he duplicated exactly yeah. that and moved to across the country and and never let on the, to anyone ever that he bought, had sold his old house bought a new house relocated to a new fucking time zone he, he he's never mentioned it because he's so afraid of like the serious threats that came his way so all I'm saying is oh, that yeah. could motivate somebody to make a website but. I'm sure we're not talking about anything like that. This is a pretty janky website. I, did he make this? Like, like this I mean, you, and no professional could possibly produce a, <laughs> a website that looks this schizo. This is like '90s schizo. Um, if if Maddox ever had somebody that he was that afraid of, it's one of his fans. Like he's been famous and such an asshole on the internet for so long. He's he's attracted this. Uh, this he's attracted fans who are like deranged. Um, which he mentions in the video, and I know, I know that he does. But f as far as real, actual threats go, no. <laughs> I'm reading He's through never this. Been this is so wild, dude. This, it it's a pretty fun website to like peruse around, knowing that it's about you. When I because the photos that he's chosen like vary from 
almost like professional headshots to like the one of his ex-girlfriend here it, 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 it's like marie aka 80s girl my ex-girlfriend a contributor to the dick show despite stating under oath in court that she has zero affiliation with the show she has signed autographs made live appearances and even provided content and personal details <gasps> of my life in an attempt to humiliate and embarrass me. Do you notice how he never capitalizes dick show? Like a petty little me. <laughs> not not going to capitalize it. Going to live shows like as my girlfriend. She doesn't do comedy. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> I mean, you know, obviously. Yeah, this guy's well, a bitch. I'm glad. I hope that that goes whatever way it should. Throw a $500 million lawsuit across his bow. See how he likes it. <laughs> That's so bizarre. Have you ever pissed anybody off this much? Has anybody ever pissed anyone off this much? Like this website? I don't I don't think no. so. I, wow. I've never had an enemy like this. Uh, like I, 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 That's insane. But I mean, it's been a it's been a parade of W's for you. It's not that. Maybe Ever they seen. hated us as much, but they were they were more creative than this. <laughs> it's, it's not how much you hate Dick; it's how bad you are at it. Just, yeah. it. Back when I was more relevant, there was like a YouTube genre of just talking shit about me, like I channel mean, after channel. They weren't big, but oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so they you wanted to leave them kids alone, man. <laughs> Even like all the Wings Tings channels, like they've got more artistic integrity than mm -hmm. than what he's doing here that's insane they genuine yeah th those channels genuinely seem to i think i think wings is like you know coll colluding seems like a bad word but i think they work together to cooperating like, yeah that's yeah. that's a less sinister word for it mm -hmm.